Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of the Snow Leopard on an Acer Aspire 1 tutorial. Now we're going to force boot the computer after shutting it off in the last tutorial. So now we're back into the multi-boot window because it booted off of our uh, bootloader and do keep it in. Um, so as you can see, this is where we started. We started with IATCOS S3 version 2. And as you can see, I do have a Windows 7 partition, Windows NTFS. I have my original Mac OS X partition, which I installed initially. And here is the one that we just installed. So we're going to go to it, we're going to select it, and we are going to hit Enter. Now if all goes well, it should boot up within two minutes for the first boot. Um, after that, it will progressively speed up. Um, I mean, I've even had it boot uh, and take only 45 seconds. Now, as you can see, there's a good sign. We got the spinning wheel. Obviously, if you don't see that, there's something wrong. And usually, at the beginning of that, if it was going to do a kernel panic, it would. So we know that it is booting up for the first boot now. When we get in, it's going to be a little bit sluggish, um, but don't worry, when we when we get past this installation part, it won't be sluggish anymore. Um, at least that's how it was the first time I did it. It might not be this time. It wasn't really bad the last time. Uh, this is now maybe the fourth or fifth time I've done this. And to think that I only now decided to put it on video. Um, but I mean, it's it's not too difficult. Now, out of the box, what's going to work and what's not going to work while we're waiting for this to boot up? Our webcam and our microphone is going to work. The keyboard and trackpad is going to work. Um, USB devices, uh, the card reader is going to work. The battery is going to work. Um... I haven't tried um, the VGA port. I don't have a... I haven't tried that. It probably will work. I, I would be surprised if otherwise, because VGA is working. Um, and these out, uh, outputs um, for audio, output and in, in input, do work. Um, the only thing that isn't going to work is the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet, but this can be fixed with a couple of texts and a program called um, Text Helper. It isn't very difficult, and um, I'll show you how. Now it's taking a while to boot up. Um, that's normal for the first time because we are not going to see the desktop the first time. We're going to be greeted by the second phase of installation. At this point, um, your installation is booting squarely off the hard drive. So here is my 8 gig um, USB for the installation. Uh, we don't need that, so we can just take that out if you want. It's it's not necessary. So it's now going into the installation. So, as you can see, it's going to start with the blue screen, and then it's going to give us some options. And here is the welcome screen. Um, now, you, of course, can choose your country. Uh, for all intents and purposes, I live in Canada, so I'm going to choose Canada. You can show all if you're not in this list. And as you'll see, the cursor is a little jumpy. Um, that's only in the install, so don't worry about that. But for now, we'll make do with it. Um, so continue as soon as we get there. Come on. As he does it, continue. There we go. This is the slowest you'll ever see your Mac. I guarantee it. 
continue. Select your keyboard. Do you own a Mac? No. So it's already selected for me, so continue. Oh, let's see. What's next? I, is it Wi Fi yet? This is the one where we're going to be stretching that. Stretching the cursor to the limit. Ugh. Alright. Yeah, here comes the wireless network. It's not going to find a network. So we're going to go to different network setup in the bottom left corner. As soon as it lets me. There we go. So, hmm, there we go. Then you're going to declare shamefully that your computer does not connect to the internet. But don't worry, we'll fix that later. And no, you don't need to buy a new Wi-Fi card. Unlike many of the forms that will say so, you can skip registration, that's not important. They'll ask you to reconsider. You'll just deny it and continue. Uh, now you create your account, you can name it whatever. I'm just going to name it with the initials of my blog. C-S-I-Y-F for computer software is your friend. And uh, same goes here. We'll just enter a random password because it'll it'll scream at us if otherwise. And then you enter a hint. Just enter random letters. That's what I do. Um, so continue. Here's hoping I remember that random password. Although it's going to log in automatically. So now it's going to ask you to take a picture. You're going to see for yourself that the webcam is going to work. But for all intents and purposes, I prefer to go with a picture from my library. Just for personal reasons. I chose a chessboard for me. But, I think I'm going to go with this lion. Look at its fangs. Uh, continue. As you can see, as you go down the installation, the mouse becomes smooth. Um, by mouse I mean trackpad. I'm sorry, I'm making that typo. I'm using the trackpad. See? Alright, so now you just choose where you are. Um, I'm not going to tell... Uh, well, it doesn't really matter at this point. We can change that later, so... We're just going to stick with whatever it chooses. And then it says, tells us not to forget to register. We will forget to register because it's not important. <laughs> and click Done. And now it will boot for the first time. Well, not boot, but it will go straight into your new desktop automatically. So just give it a minute or two and you'll see everything pop up. And uh, yeah, so we have Mac installed on an Acer Aspire 1. I'll show you how to get the Wi-Fi working in another video because obviously uh, I think the quality would be better if I used the QuickTime uh, screen recorder to do that. That's one of the great things about Mac. It comes in with this built-in screen recorder. So it's taking its sweet time to load. But it, again, it is the first time. So don't worry about that. It will speed up in the future on its own. For now, don't update. Um, I'm going to tell you now, updates are very um, destructive, <laughs> to say the least. But you'll have 10.6.3 working on, on this, and that, quite frankly, is a big accomplishment. Uh, 
can only imagine. All right. And here we go. Here comes the mini bar, and the dock will shortly follow. Yeah, right there. And uh, as you can see, this is our uh, USB bootloader over here. So it detected the USB. You can change the size of the dock. Uh, that's pretty simple. Just right click and go into the settings. So now let's show you how to get your system information. You're going to go to the Apple menu about this Mac. And we're going to see that it is 10.6.3. Well, this has been another video for Computer Software Is Your Friend. This is part of the Snow Leopard on an Acer Aspire 1 series. I hope you found it useful. And uh, be sure to read the series. Um, there's a lot more information in the series. And, uh, yeah. Uh, any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. There will be more videos in the future, and of course you can also uh, subscribe to our blog via all of its um, all of its t uh, methods, including Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Um, so enjoy your new Mac on an Acer Aspire One.